Rich, tell us all about it. Okay, so my army list for the tournament, I, they allowed the Big Mech Stompa from, um, I can't remember which Imperial Armor book it is, but one of them gives you a discount. You can get a Stompa for 400 points. And that's about a 400 point discount. So I really considered it, and a lot of the Orc players at this tournament took that. And I really debated it, and I play tested it a couple of times, and decided I need to play what I'm comfortable with, and what I'm familiar with, and what I've played, what I've whooped Sean a bunch of times with. And... <laughs> I just want to point out that I retroactively won all of our games because of the final game. It's true. Runes of Fate. Runes of Fate. All those games, we saw, all those battles, was only an Eldar Farseer looking it's forward to one possible eventuality. He's like, wow, we really get curb stomped if we do that. So then they fight this one battle, win it, and then the orcs lose all the battles after that. That's, okay, how, that that's how that went. Just so you know. Great. Okay, good. So, um, so I decided to go with something that you've seen similar, but I did <laughs> add some stuff to my army. So I take a combined arms detachment, which includes Zad Snark de Ripa. It's Chirok Far is his name, you guys know, but I uh, used the Zad Snark rules out of, I think it's IA-8 but it could be 12, it's one of those two. So what's, yeah, what's different about him? So he's a biker boss with a boss pole. He does have a big shooter and he also has a power claw that attacks at initiative four. But he makes bikes troops throughout the whole army. That's one oh, of his, his, nice, there it his is. nice perks. Um, he also has skilled rider, which gives plus one to the cover save, the jink save of the unit. So they're And it transfers always, to the unit. So whenever they jink, yeah, they have a three plus cover save. Oh, and then that's if they tremendous. Turbo boost, they have a two plus. So that's really and jink. good. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, that's really good. And then in the unit, there's also another war boss. This war boss has the lucky stick. So he's um, he's nasty and he can be out in the front and he can tank. So he takes the two plus cover save. Now in the ITC, they only allow you to reroll a reroll on a four plus. You can't go two plus, two plus for a reroll. You go two plus, four plus because they felt it was too oh, powerful. Oh, no, that's a brilliant I idea. Love I love they that. They did some great things. The ITC was really cool with the way they did rules. They, they made some changes that really helped the game. Right. So that made this unit say so it's not Because so a two broken. plus, four plus is like, you could get, you can through, get that. through that. Right, a two plus, It's two still plus. great. Yeah. Well, and they also have feel no pain. So it's a two plus, four plus, five plus. Right, so the so. chances of them wounding is one in 12, but it's actually less than that. It's better than that because of the feel no pain. Don't tell, don't tell orcs the numbers. That's just not gonna happen. So. Yeah, typical That's Eldar <laughs> wants to calculate everything out. Jeez. So he has a power claw, he's on a bike, power claw, lucky stick. That's all the war boss has. Okay. Um, then in that detachment, I have a biker star with 15 bikers, a knob with power claw. I don't take boss poles in that unit because they get fearless later. Then I have three trucks. Just Wait, why do they get fearless later? The big mech has the big boss pole, which makes them fearless. Okay, got So it. that's one of his relics. He has big so boss pole. So this is like one giant this one unit, unit right, right here. here, except for the two mechs. But that unit of 19 guys was my bike star, and they are just nasty. The mechs go in the trucks. And out of the 1850, how many points is that? What's the, the percentage The unit's about 305, and then he's 150. I think he's 130, and he's 180. Oh, wow. So, so you have like half your points. It's about half my points, okay. yeah. So yeah, it's a big, big part of my army. Then these three trucks are pretty standard. Nine boys, knob with a power claw. They do have boss poles. And they're just boys to assault. <laughs> this is, this is, a, this is offensive to the eyes. <laughs> you don't like my truck? I converted this little rocket here. It's a that's magnetized, cool. oh, I love it's a magnetized that. little thing, yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, so that's my, that's my Bama truck right there. <laughs> Bama? That's my Bama. Who Alabama, knows? that's the roll oh, got tide it. symbol for, oh, for no. the Alabama Crimson Tide. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> that's a great that's a great personal touch. Thank Are you. these bikes part of the This is two separate little they're part of my second detachment. Okay, and I'll so get they, to them. Okay, got it. I'll get to that. I'll so just these shut three, up. These three troops are just units of boys in trucks. The uh, rockets and rams on the on the trucks. They just run around, take objectives, and contribute to the fight. Then I've got a unit of tank busters on foot, just five strong in that detachment, and then two units of lutas in that detachment. I also have this awesome conversion of a, uh, a void shield generator. I used the exact dimensions that were listed for the void shield generator that Games Workshop made. I found a, a monolith on the Blue Table store that I took and, and cut it up, and uh, used the monolith as a, 
as the base for my void shield generator. I put a door on the back. I gotta show you the back because the monolith doesn't have a door, so I put a cool orky door on the back. And uh, so that's my void shield generator, which is very useful for orcs in the current competitive meta because it protects the heck out of them. So anyway, so that's my, that's my first detachment. The second detachment has the big mech with the mega force field, which is four plus and vulnerable save. Um, he also has the big boss pole and he has a power claw. And, uh, and he's on a bike. That looks like a jet bike, but he's just on a bike. It's a cool conversion. Um, and then I uh, have a pain boss on a bike as well. Pain boy on a bike. Where's that? He's right oh, here. He's... Oh, okay. Oh, he has a thing though. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He's got the cool hand. Yeah. So that's my pain boy on a bike. Okay, got um, it. And then uh, some of my boys are on lizards and some are on the boars. I really, I just did this conversion for the tournament and you can see these belts of ammo that strap the guns to the boar. Oh, that's and great. And it runs underneath with, and then on this side is the ammo hopper. Oh, that's really And so, super. yeah, so that's, I so really like. So you're gonna, your, your objective is to phase out the- Phase out the, the lizards, lizards, and there'll be right. a backup if I ever need two biker units, but I'm gonna go with <laughs> all boars, and then ridiculous. he's gonna lead them. So hold on, how many boar boys would you need to do that? I want, I think I've got, I've got nine, so I need six more. Oh, but that's what not I'm gonna many. do, what I'm gonna do though, my knobs and these characters, I'm gonna put knobs. on the ogre, the ogre ride thing. I don't know what those things are called. Oh, the, um, how can I not know this? The Thunder Tusk? Yeah, I don't know. The big one the big or one. the? No, 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 the, the ones The medium are, size the medium one, size. Mourn Fangs. Okay, yeah, That's the Mourn Fang yeah. Cavalry. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm gonna put my knobs those are great. and my, my pain boy and, and- just a note, when you do that, get rid of their regular tusks, which are kind of weird shaped, uh -huh. and put like, Orc Actual like orky yeah. boar type tusks. No, that'll yeah. be yeah, that'll be good. That'll We've be got fun. bits for that. Yeah, that's one of the great things about having blue table fan. This is my current knob, and he's awesome. But I'll be putting him on a bigger because he's bigger than the lizard he rides. So, um, yeah, so I'll put him on a bigger bigger mount. And I rebased some of my knobs. If you notice, they're on the bigger bases, the marine bases now, because I thought is that what they're supposed to be on? No, not or really. Just that they but look I just cool. think they look awesome. I like these tufts. That yeah, you're the tufts on. of grass I put on there. I'm trying. And to you can my buy game. those from like hobby stores. Yeah, or, absolutely. Uh, and it's it's a reasonable cost. So I'm just trying to up my game and and have my army look better. So just well, little it looks bits, great. Little bits over the years. I mean, that except add. that. <laughs> So, the second detachment has the Big Mac, the Pain Boy, and then for my troops, I have two three-man biker units. They don't take anything, they're just there to grab But they're objectives. troops. They are troops. And, they're, and if there's one thing I learned, MSU with fast guys yep. is, oh, it's great. Here's the it's trick, such though, a pain. Sean, they are not objective secured. Oh, they're not. They're not because the Great Wad just attachment makes them from the the way the only way to get those particular relics for the orcs is to take Great Wad attachment, and they don't get that bonus. Their bonus is pretty bad, actually. So I have to take it to take the war gear I want, but it makes the troops a little less effective. So okay. they still run around and grab stuff, and they can charge and they shoot pretty well. But uh, and then with that, I have to take an elite, so I take another unit of tank busters just on foot, five strong. And then I take the three death copters because the, the oh I hate those things the objective that they the thing that they do get instead of objective secured they can deep strike if they roll a six so it's not that great um, I didn't really I did one time <laughs> and I forgot to deep strike the unit that I held in reserve so it was foolish to do it so yeah but that's uh, that's the list that's the army did really well went four and two was very happy with with that result um, kind of like uh, you're going to a a sumo match and you're weighing in about 140 when you play with an older codex, not a bad codex, when you play with an older codex. And I uh, felt really good about taking Best of Orcs. Um, like I said, uh, my buddy Mason. If, if I may, yes. just to hold on, Mason, hold that thought. You wouldn't have this problem if you just played Age of Sigmar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that baited hook out into the ocean, well, so hook, go ahead. I, I do have to tell you, I am excited <laughs> for them to do orcs for Age of Sigmar or because that's... the models yeah. Oh, yeah. are fabulous. And I'm just eager to take some of those and put them in my orc army, so. Yeah, they're nonsense. Yeah, I can't wait. So okay, yeah, go. I won Best of Mason, Orcs. You're oh, talking Mason, you're Mason won Best of Orcs for yeah. the year, because he, you have to, they keep track of your four best ITC scores, and they, that's the best for the year. And uh, so Mason won best for the year. Um, this is my only ITC score, so I couldn't win best of the year, obviously. 
um, because I don't really go to tournaments very often. I mostly just, well, just play maybe friendly. You'll, maybe you'll give Mason a run for his money this year. But we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Because this is the beginning of the season. So, hold and... on. There were like 300 people. Uh -huh. There were about 20 or players. It, was, it, it might have been 18. I don't know if I counted. So, But you was, came out right on top of the pack for Top orcs. of the orcs. 54th in the total. General. Um, in the, in the which whole Which is actually really thing, good considering is... it's not just an open tournament. No, well, no, it is, it's, it's open. open tournament, and but the okay. percentage, I think they it's were very competitive. They're close to fifty Eldar, and they're yeah. close to fifty. Like, I'm sure there are more than fifty Space Marines just combined because it's somewhere. Well, dark normally Angel, Space somewhere. Marines, right? There's a ton um, of them. There were. I don't know how many Tau there were. I'm surprised that they didn't make final eight, but it seems like there were I no read, Tau in the final eight. Not in the final eight. Wow. But it seems like they. They did some stuff to weaken some of their powerful stuff to the, the ITC. Um, oh, okay. So I think some Tau players weren't real happy with some of their decisions. But I generally thought they did a good job. They, they things like invisibility that is so nasty. They made it weaker. And D weapons, shooting D weapons are not as effective as they are in the regular rules. Just to try and keep it a little more in balance. And I think they right. did a good job. So. Um, kudos to those guys, and like I said, this is uh, really proud of the orcs. I thought they fought superbly. We beat, uh, we lost to Necrons, and we lost to a Marine army, and then we beat Tau, and we beat two other Marine armies, and we beat Dark Eldar. So, had a lot of fun. I would encourage you to go to the Las Vegas Open or any of the frontline gaming tournaments uh, that they run, any ITC tournaments, and I plan to go on some, just some more myself. So it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Sean. Uh, thank you, Rich.